Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do a little girl's bunk bed. Alright, once you have the kit, you want to go ahead and take the ladder and you want to make sure each board lines up like that. Once you make sure the top and bottom match, then you want to go ahead and take some glue. And I'm going to do a combination. I'm going to do just a tiny bit of wood glue. I'm going to use my little helper tool here and I'm going to spread that out. And then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of crazy glue. I will not use my helper tool on this one. And now I'm going to sandwich them together with the tops and bottoms meeting. Now to assure that you have them completely together, you want to use your square up tool and you want to hold it on a level surface just like so. You want to take clips, clamps, or clothes pens, whichever you have and you need to clamp this together so that it can set up. Okay, so then you wanna let that set up just like that. And stand it up again to make sure it's still square and set that on the side. Once you've done that, clean your tool off. Okay, so one here, I'm going to tell you, this one I printed a little backwards, so I fixed it in the computer. This design is actually on the flat part, not on the part with all the holes in it. So we're going to sandwich them together the same way we just did the other one. A little bit of glue. Okay, so now on these little tiny parts where the little posts are, I'm going to lightly take this wipe because it's wet and I'm going to take some of that back off of there. That way it doesn't bleed through when I fold it together. Okay, now I need the one without and the one with holes. You want to sandwich them together.
use your square up tool to make sure it's standing square everything's flat down and start clipping it together see any glue getting out of there you want to try and get that while it's still wet because otherwise when it dries it'll be harder to get a sandpaper piece in there now for this one's a little tricky I'm gonna put it inside of there like that and then I'm going to squeeze it like that to hold it in there You're going to do the same exact thing that we just did there to the other one. Okay, now once you have both of those, you're letting them set up. So at this point, you have the headboards and the footboard and the ladder done. Leave them on the side, and we're going to move on to the toy box. Okay, the toy box will have a finished edge and a non-finished edge. You want to take your wipe or your damp cloth and you want to clean it up on that edge. See how that's coming off? That's just the laser mark, so that's just the nature of the beast. So you can do that. I'm not worried about it because um, I'm going to just use this as a test and paint it. So as you can see, this is a little bit shorter than this. And if you put these two side pieces together then they're going to be exactly the same. So this will go like this and this will go like this. Pattern on the outside. Now on the bottom, it's your choice. You can have it on the outside or the inside. It's up to you. But to keep it uniform, I'm going to flip it over. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue and I'm using just the crazy glue this time right here on this edge and I'm going to take this one so I don't have too much and I'm going to just lightly tap it to apply it to there that way I have it on two pieces now I'm going to line this up right there and right there Now, I'm going to apply some super glue right along this edge. And then we're going to take this piece and we're going to line it up right there. Pushing it flat down to the bottom and then moving that top in to make it even. Repeat that process for the front of the little toy box. You can put some clamps on this to clamp this together if you want at this point, or you can just leave it like that. If you decide you want to paint this, I suggest you use some paint pens 
because if you put a lot of paint on here, Right now we're gonna work on the table. You have a big square and then two little squares and then three that are, or two that are exactly the same and then one rectangle. This is gonna go together very much like the one that we just did. This is the nightstand. We're gonna put this together with this piece here and then this piece here. Add glue along this edge. And apply the side accordingly. That one just did not want to go on because it was bent there when I put it on there. So I had to re-glue that, but there you go, just like that. Now, you're going to do the same thing here. Now that big piece, you're going to put some glue right up here. And then you're going to leave it overhang just a tiny bit evenly on both sides, but flat at the back. And that's your nightstand. Now, if you want to add drawers or um, little tiny shelf, you can do that. I just put that on the wrong side. It actually goes on this side. You know, line that up. Just like that. And then if you want another shelf there, you repeat that process with a little other piece. And there you have your night table. It was sit beside the bed like that. You can paint it or do whatever you want with it. Remove all your clamps at this point if they're dry. Now you should have two rectangles that look like this. You want to go ahead and add some glue to that. I'm actually just going to put it on there because I don't want to put it in there. Now you're going to take this and you're going to put it in those two holes. You need to have your square up tool to make sure that it sets in perfectly straight and level. the same thing for here okay so I've got my square up tool ready but I've had some glue over flow there so I'm going to take this little tool here that I have and I'm going to scrape that glue out of there then I want to square that up
All right, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put a dab of glue here and a dab of glue here. Which I did just a tiny bit too much because my hole is bigger than it should be. So this long skinny piece is gonna go right I've got some glue attached to it. Do the same thing for this one. Put glue along here and in there. Turn your bed over and repeat that process for here and here. All right, now you want to go ahead and glue these together onto here. I'm going to go ahead and sandwich that right into those holes. And it should look like that. Use your square tool and make sure your bed is gluing and staying level while it's drying. Next step is, is to glue this here and turn it over and glue the other one on the other side. Okay, so then that's what that will look like. Now, if you want to eliminate your glue marks like that, you can lightly sand it off with a piece of sandpaper, or you can wipe it off until it comes off. And if that doesn't work, depending on what glue you have, you can always take a light brown paint pen and go over it, and then it'll disappear. If you want to keep the wood stain, otherwise just paint over it. next step is these so you have these little pieces here there to be glued in between you have four for each bed So what you need to do to get those in place where they're not crooked like they are right now is to go ahead and measure. I'm going to put this at about one inch. Now you can mark it with a pencil. repeat that process for the rest okay so once you have that done and you want to attach the ladder so for the ladder I'm lining it up directly with this so you're gonna put glue on that glue on that and then in between here so glue straight across 
straight across there and then in between oh, in between here and here And then there you have it. That's the little girl's bunk bed. Remember, your headboard will have the pattern on the outside here. You can use a piece of foam for the bedding. The mattress, there's tutorials on how to make mattresses on my... So you have a toy box. A nightstand